Welcome back to the Crochet Chronicles, our friends over at Joanne.com. It's week number two of our stitch along, and this one here is a really interesting stitch. This is called the Chevron Chain Stitch. So what you're going to notice with this is that I did the chevron in two panels. So it can actually be done in two panels, but the pattern has us doing it as one. So you'll notice that it will go up in one direction and then turn and go in the other direction like this, halfway through it. So that's pretty awesome. So I was really quite excited about that. My tip that I want to leave for you is that in this particular um, diagram, you'll notice that your eyes want to go. So for example, the first time you're looking at it, you'll see that the lines are grabbing your attention and going in this direction. But when you physically crochet it, it's actually going in the opposite the direction. The diagrams provide an optical illusion for what's actually happening. So if you feel like you're crocheting in the wrong direction compared to the diagram, it's not you. It's just an optical illusion. So without further ado, let's head down into the studio. Let's get started right away. So let's begin week number two and we have our instructions just like you see and what we're only doing today is that we're doing this large chevron off to one side and then shifting back over to the other side. So it's a really kind of a neat uh, process in order for us to do it. Um, it's actually really pretty easy once you start seeing it and you'll start seeing the, the, the waves picking up. So as we're beginning along you have a lot of written instructions. Again those chain two spaces add a lot more words and what we have is that we have a diagram just like so. So the wonderful thing about this particular pattern is that it's kind of a mirror opposite to each other. So when you're going to work on this pattern you will start seeing that your eyes will just naturally on this section just kind of leaning to the uh, left if you're right handed and what's happening is actually the waves are actually moving in this direction. It's an optical illusion. So if you feel like okay well this chart looks like it's leaning this way but I'm actually looking like going this way. It should be going this way. So the other uh, opposite is true here. You'll see that your eyes appear to be wanting to go this way but when you go to crochet this you'll actually be going this way. So if you look at the example that's kind of proof of that happening. So I've actually done this so I know that's true too. So you're going to begin to pick up and it's just like we've been reading the charts before where there's chain two spaces you're gonna keep those in. We're gonna be just uh, covering that um, as we're just processing each section. Um, so if you wanna look at the diagrams you can see the, where the designer has put in this red line of showing you what the repeats are when you're going all the way across. She's done it in a way that it makes it easy to remember. So if you look at these boxes you'll be able to count that. So when you're working on patterns like this you wanna be conscientious to what the starting of something is. Like you see that there's three single crochets here and then you kinda wanna look at the end and kinda see where things are working out in the end to keep yourself balanced. This particular one uh, because of the slant it has an optical illusion that you feel like you're gaining stitches. Uh, so you gotta trust in your stitch work and the counts in order to make that work. So without further ado we're gonna grab our crochet hook and just start pounding this one out and let's get started right now. As we begin this section we're going to do rows number one, two, three, and four and those are not part of the repeat but five all the way through sixteen is the repeat. So here we go. So we're gonna just chain up one. So row number one is just one single crochet in each stitch all the way to the other side. Now this is video number two. We've already been doing this in video number one. When you get all the way to the other side just turn your work chain one and single crochet yourself all the way back and that will conclude row number two. So please do rows number one and two, one single crochet in each. I'm coming to the end of row number two and I wanna switch my color back to purple. So I wanna actually introduce it now. Not back, I'm actually gonna put it in. So I'm gonna create a slip knot and just join it and I can just weave in my tails later and I can finish. So I'm coming up all the way to the end and on the last one I wanna reintroduce my purple in the solid color, contrast A and then pull it through and then turn our work and then get ready for rows number um, three and four. Let's begin. We're gonna chain up one and do one single crochet in the first one and the next two. So there's three right in the very beginning that are all solids and then we're going to chain two, skip one and single crochet into the next, chain two and then skip one, single crochet into this one plus the next two. So there's three in a row. Do you see that? Now chain two, skip just one, single crochet in the next, chain two, skip just one 
and single crochet in the next three. So I want you to do that all the way across. This is row number three and that's what it looked like and I would actually scan this to make sure that it's going to look right uh, when you get to the other side because it's it's kind of worse if you get across and then you realize you may have accidentally skipped too many or just didn't uh, space it enough. So I will see you at the end of this row. This is row number three. When you get all the way to the other side and you're following the stitch counts, the last four are each a single crochet. Okay, so that's perfect for me and again I would scan my eyes to make sure that all the spacing looks right. When I was doing my test trials I was screwing that up and I could tell right away instead of having to start and then realize I have to go back. So row number four, just chain up one and you're going to match it just like you had before when you were doing this. So this is a return pass so it's one single in each of the singles and if there's a chain two space just match it with the chain two and jump and single crochet into the one after it. Please do this for row number four. When you get back to the other side just match the stitches and then on the last stitch let's switch our main color back into play. Make sure that your yarn strands don't get too tangled and we're going to uh, do that next. So just carrying it up and pull through. Let's turn our work and get ready now for rows number five and six and now this is starting the repeat. Okay this is the start of the repeat rows number five through sixteen. So just going to chain up one and we're doing one single crochet in the first three. So one, two, three and you will notice that the next one is a space. So you wanna drop down right in front like we did in week number one. We're going to single crochet in the next one and then the space is next and drop down. So here's the thing that you need to watch for. Now you need to put that chain two in there. So chain two, skip the first one of these grouping of three. So just skip the first one, go to the second one over and do that one plus the one right after and the space is next so you must drop down. Single crochet in the next one and then drop down again because there's a space and then what are you gonna do after the pair? You have to chain two. So one, two and then see this grouping of three? You're skipping the first one of the three and single crocheting in the next two and you're gonna continue all the way across like that. Okay, so you can see the pairs are now starting to appear. So let's uh, please do this all the way across. This is row number five. When you get to the other side you'll see all the pairs. Isn't that awesome? And then the very end we're just chaining two, skipping the, the first one out and just single crocheting the final three. Now this is the end of row number five. Let's just turn our work and let's just match the stitches that we see. No biggie, right? So it's one single in each of the stitches and if there's a chain two space just match it with the chain two which I'm about to do now. So there's a space so chain two it and then just jump over to the first stitch and then fill those in. So let's do this all the way now for row number six and let's continue our journey from that point. So going all the way to the other side, chain, I don't even know why I'm saying chain but <laughs> going to the other side and we are going to then then just pick up our purple and then begin row number seven. So let's turn our work and let's get ourselves ready for number seven. <laughs> let's begin row number seven. We're gonna chain up one and we're gonna do a single crochet in the first three. So let's count those together. So one, two and three and this is where our first space is gonna go into play. So chain two and then skipping one and single crochet in the next two after that. So I know my counts are right because the drop down is next. And here's where it's going to start leaning off in the other direction that you feel <laughs> it's an optical illusion. So it drops down. So remember what I said about the drop down. You're going to have to chain two, one, two, skip the first one coming out of after the chain. So you see that there's five. So you're gonna skip the first one out and go to the next one. Just like this. Chain two skip the next one and then single crochet in the next two after that. Do you wanna see a tip? See this first one here? See how it lines up to this one here? This is when it's starting to lean over. You're going to notice that the stepping that this one here when it leans over will match the one that's up above which makes it lean to the right. So let's uh, begin another section. So you're just gonna drop down and then after you drop down you need to create a space. So chain two skipping the first one, single crochet in the next, chain two, skipping the next 
and then single crocheting in the next two. And again like what I said, see this one here? It matches the second one here. So you'll notice that it'll match and then drop down again. So please do this. This is row number seven. It's not a hard row. It's just a matter of just getting yourself oriented so that you can do it right. Let's do number seven together. When you get to the end of row number seven you have the final drop down and then you're still chaining two, skipping the first one out and then just single crochet in the final two. Row number eight, just turning your work, you're going to match it just like you do. It's a return pass so chaining up one, match the single crochets um, with all of the stitches below and if there is a chain two space, just chain to it and jump and then single crochet and then stitches after that. Please do this. This is the return pass number eight. I'm coming up to the end of number eight and I'm just going to change in the last one back to the gray and we're gonna get ready and do number nine and ten. So let's begin. We're gonna just chain up one and we'll do one single crochet in each of the next three. The first three I should say and then we drop. So go down and come down just like so and then we're going to then chain two, skip the first one out. So there's a grouping of three. So skip the first one and go to the middle one and start single crocheting that one and its friend and then drop down. Single crochet the next one and then drop again and this is your pair. So after the pair you have to apply your chain two. So remember what I showed you when we were doing the second one of this going across, see how it matches? That's what gives the illusion of it going to the right, right? So chain two, skip the first one out. There's a grouping of three so skip the first one. Go to the middle one and do the next two singles. Drop, single crochet in the next, drop, chain two and skip the first one and then go to the next two and continue along. So this is row number nine and now you really can start seeing it come together, right? So let's uh, continue this and I'll see you at the end of row number nine. When you get to the end of row number nine, you are not going to do the chain two space at all because you're only actually on the first section of a pair. So you just immediately just single crochet in the next two which is the last two. So you will notice that the pairs did shift over. So then going to row number ten, turn your work and just match exactly what you have. So chain one, one single crochet into each stitch and if there's a chain two space, just chain two and jump. Please do this then for row number ten. I'm coming up to the end of row number ten and the last stitch of course we are going to then switch back to contrast A which in my case is purple. Turn our work and let's go and look at row. So let's begin number eleven. We're going to chain up one and we'll put four single crochets in a row. So one, two, three and four and the space is next. So we're gonna drop and then we're gonna apply the spaces right after the drop. So chain two, skip the first one out. So you see the grouping of five like we had. So skip the first one, go to the second, chain two, skip the next one and single crochet in the next two after that. So you're providing your space. Drop again and then provide your space. So chain two, skip the first one out, single crochet, chain two, skip the next one, single crochet in the final two before dropping down in the next one. Pretty cool right? Let's uh, continue that. That is row number eleven and I'll see you at the end of that row. When you come up to the end of row number eleven you are still going to do your drop downs and you have to make sure that you have two spaces left over by the end of the row. So chaining two, skipping one, single crochet in the next, chain two, skipping one and single crochet in the last two. Just like that. Okay, so you will have this. So when you look at these, you'll see how these prongs kind of work together. So you're just created, you only had one here but then you're gonna have another one here and then a new one there to keep the slide going on to the side. So turning your work row number 12, just once you know it, you're just gonna fill in the spaces and then with single cro uh, crochets in the single crochets and then if it's a space, a chain two space, keep it as a chain two space and that would be row number 12 working your way across. So do that all the way across. I'll see you at the end of this row. 
So I've now just come up to the end of number 12. I'm just going to switch back to gray and then we're gonna get ready for row number 13 and 13 we're gonna start doing our drop downs again and let's create some more spaces while we're at it. So to begin row number 13 you're gonna chain up one and you're gonna single crochet in the first two and then you're going to create a space. So chain two, skip just one and single crochet in the next two after that. We're now going to drop down into the space. So single crochet drop like so. Single crochet in the next single crochet and then drop down in the next space. So the repeat pattern then for this is that you're going to create a space after this last drop down. So chain two, skip the first one out and just single crochet in the next one and into the next one after that like that. So you have two in a row as you're carrying on and now you're gonna drop down again. So drop down, single crochet in the next one and then drop down in the next one and chain two space skipping the first one out and single crochet in the next two. So this is row number 13. Please do this and you will see that it's starting to glide even more this way. I'll see you at the end of this row. So I'm coming to the end of row number 13. I'm just dropping down where I need to and I need to create the spaces where I have to as well. So at the end of number uh, 13 just like you see here is that we are just going to just apply um, in the next two stitches. So you're not actually jumping over any stitches when you do this last one. So just single crochet in the last two that's available. So that's kind of the only time you're not gonna skip over uh, is when you're right here on row number 13. You're going to turn your work and then just fill in the spots where you need to. So single crochet in the stitches and if it's chain two space just chain two so that you can jump over those spaces to maintain. So this is row number 14 and please do this all the way across. I'll see you at the end of this row. When you get to the end of number 14 you are just going to switch back to the purple or whatever color you're working with and let's turn our project and let's begin 15 and 16 which is the last of the repeat and then you have to repeat this section two more times so that you have three sections of these. So let's uh, begin to do that next. Let's begin row number 15. So chain up one and you are going to single crochet in the first two and you will notice that you will have a drop down right after that. So just drop down so like before you are just been shifted over by one. So you're just going to chain two, skip the first one out, single crochet in the next, chain two, skip the next one and then single crochet in the next two after that. Okay so you see how it jumps up. So when you're following the, the prongs here like you're gonna have two there. So continuing along you're going to drop down, chain two, skip the first one out, single crochet in the next, chain two, skip the next one and single crochet the next two. So do that all the way across. This is row number 15 and then I'll see you back here in just a moment. To continue this one into row number 15 at the end you are just single crocheting the remaining after you've done the repeat pattern and so you will have four in a row that is single crochets at the very end. Turning your work. Number 16 is the final before the repeat starts all over again. So chaining up one, match the stitch to stitch and spaces to space and then I'll be right back and then we'll just talk about the repeats before moving on in this pattern. When you get to the end of number 16 obviously you're going to switch your work back here to the gray and then we're going to continue again. So if I were you and you were me I would just grab a stitch marker. So I'm just leaning over here behind the scenes so now that we've got our repeat done is that you have to do it a total two more times and I just put a stitch marker on this last one so I can see the stitch repeats. So then I will have another one and then another one so it'll be a total of three. It'll help me keep in count so whenever I it looks like it will be up here again because it's gonna start and it's gonna start forming just like you see and then start uh, stair doing a staircase. So get your repeat done before moving on in this tutorial and then we'll kick up the next one where we'll go in the opposite direction. So let's begin row number 41 and we're gonna chain up one and we're gonna single crochet in the first two and the pair that you will see will be after this one here. So we have to chain two before we start the pair. That was gonna skip this stitch and then just 
jump down. Okay, then we're going to single crochet in the next and then jumping down and then single crochet after you have that single crochet the next two. So you're not skipping after the pair is done you're just immediately single crocheting and you're going to skip over the last one of the grouping of three and that'll be the chain two and then drop like so. So this chaining two that we're uh, doing right now you will notice that the next time is that this purple will line completely up and then prepare it to go in the opposite lean. And so I want you to do this. This is row number 41 and just remember that the chain two space is before the pair. I'm coming up to the end of 41 and the last four stitches are just a single crochet. There's no skipping of anything between the last drop down. Turn your work. Let's do 42. You know the routine. Just chain up one and one single crochet in each stitch where you need to and if there's a chain two space just make sure you have a chain two space and jump. Please do row number 42 next and I will see you at the end of that and we'll switch back to purple. Okay coming up to the end of 42 just matching stitch to stitch and then we're gonna get ready then and bring up our purple once again and switch back over and let's uh, turn this work, lay it flat and let's begin then row number 43 and 44. Let's begin 43, chain up one and do one single crochet in the first two because the drop down should appear right after and it does. So drop down and then chain two, or sorry, two single crochets in a row and before the next drop down that is appearing over here you have to chain two first. So after you get two single crochets after the drop down so then chain two, skip the next one, chain two and you skip the next one but the drop down is next. So just immediately just drop down after you get that next chain two in there. Do you see that? So single crochet in the next two and then begin again. So chain two, skipping the next, come down and then chain two, skipping the next and it's a drop after that. So you wanna drop down after that one. So please do this and you will notice that the shift is now coming straight up just like this. So it's no longer going in this direction. Let's do this all the way across and I'll see you at the end of row number 43. When you're coming up to the end of row number 43 you're just uh, putting in your chain two spaces just where you exactly need to and then the final two single crochets are in. So let's turn our work and do 44. 44 just matching your stitches you know what to do at this point. Chain one and single crochet where you need to and chain two is where you need to jump. So single crocheting where you need to all the way back and we're gonna switch back to your main color. And then we're gonna continue then to 45 and 46. Let's turn and lay flat and let's observe and let's continue along. Let's do 45. We're gonna chain up one and we'll put four single crochets in a row. And then you're going to do a chain two. And then after that you're going to do your drop down. So you're skipping the last one of that one and just dropping. Just like that. Single crochet in the next one and then drop in the next. So after you have your pairs done of dropping the first two out are gonna be a single crochet, chain two and then immediately then drop down into the next. So the you're getting everything ready for the next rows that will appear. So do this all the way across and I will see you at the end of 45 and then we'll turn and do 46 as what you already know it to be. At the end of number 45 you are just going to put in your two drop downs but there is no spaces or anything after it so just single crochet the final two. So you would have noticed then in 45 you physically now see that it's starting to shift and go in the other direction like a boomerang. Let's uh, turn it work and do the next row. 46 you already know what to do. Chain up one, match your stitches and chain twos where you need to jump. Let's do 46 together. I'm coming up to the end of 46 matching my stitches and guess what? We're reintroducing again the purple back into play and let's begin uh, row number 47 and 48. Let's do number 47, chain up one and one single crochet in the first three. So one, two and three and then chain two and then skipping the next one and then dropping. And once you've dropped immediately single crochet in the next two, one 
and two and let's provide those chain two spaces that we already know of. So chain two, skipping the next one and then chain two and skipping the next one and the next one is the drop down. So let's just drop and then single crochet in the next two, chain two, single crochet, skip one, single crochet in the next, chain two and then you must drop. And please do that all the way across. This is row number 47 and we'll see at the end. At the end of number 47 on the other side you're going to chain two and then so you do your drop down you have two singles you're gonna chain two skip only one and then two singles in the final two. Let's do number 48 you know what to do just chain up one and just fill in those spots and jump where you need to. Let's do number 48 together. Okay at the end of number 48 just matching stitch to stitch we're then going to get ready and switch back to the main color and then we'll begin lay it down and let's begin number 49 and 50. Okay let's begin a 49 first we're gonna chain up one and we're gonna single crochet in the first three so one, two, three and then drop like so. Single crochet um, what we have in the next um, we're going to single crochet in the next two, one and two and then we're gonna create a space first so chain two and then drop. Okay so you're skipping this one right here. So then drop, single and drop and then single crochet in the next two, one and two and then provide another space. So chain two and then drop, skipping this one and then drop, single crochet in the next and then drop like that. Fabulous eh? So let's continue then this is 49. So I'm coming up to the very end of the row. This is row number 49 and I'm doing the final drop down and then you're not gonna skip any stitches of course after because you've just skipped before this one and single crochet the final two. Row number 50 you know what to do. Turn your work and let's match our stitches and our chain two spaces together. So let's do that and then I will see you and then 51 and 52 is next which will be the end of the repeat for this particular lean and then you can return back to continue it even further if you would like to. So I'm at the end of number 50 let's switch back and let's do lay this down and let's do 51 and 52 which will be the end of the repeat and you can see that it's been swaying and then it swayed back in this particular section and if you wanted to re-pick it back up in the bottom one you can keep on swaying up and down. Pretty cool. Let's uh, begin 51 and 52. So let's do 51. So chain up one and one single crochet in the first three. So one, two and three and let's provide our spaces. So chain two, skipping one, single in the next chain two, skipping this one and the next one has to be a drop down like so. So let's do our repeat. So continuing along we're single crochet in the next two, one and two, chain two, skip one, single crochet in the next, chain two, skip one and the next one has to be a drop and this is number 51 going all the way across. Please do this and I'll see you at the end of 51. So I'm coming up all the way to the end. I've just done my final drop down and then I'm just doing the final um, three single crochets that are left. So turning your work this is row number 52. Chaining one and just fill in your spots that you need sing, uh, st uh, single crochets or chain two spaces. Please do this all the way across and this will be the end of the repeat and we'll just recap really shortly and then we'll leave the rest for you and then this tutorial is complete for today. I'm coming up to the end of number 52. We do need to switch our color and we're gonna come back to the main color. So at this point you either have a decision to make. You are either at the end of the final repeat of this section or you need to repeat all over again. If you are at the end of this repeat section that you've done this section that I just showed you three times 
then you can just safely cut this yarn. And if not, then you want to repeat again. So at this point, you're going to need to go backward and what I would recommend, just like I told you before, if this is the first time through, just mark it with a stitch marker here and then just do it again and again and you will end up with a big chevron just like it shows in the photograph. So at this point, we're gonna quickly stop and then we're going to then restart back up because we have to finish off this section before we can move on in the afghan to something new. So this is the conclusion of this section and we're going to then just finish this off. So we're just gonna chain up one. We're gonna apply one single crochet in each of the stitches except for the chain two spaces. You're going to just drop down. So you're not gonna provide any additional spaces on this row. Just, just fill it in. So dropping down, single crochet in the next and then dropping down and then single crochet the remaining that you have and just drop down where you need to and then just and it will be a nice solid row by the time you get all the way across and then we'll just quickly go back with the return pass and that's today's video done. So coming all the way across on the zero pass coming across as we finish and so everything has a single crochet or a drop down so there's no spaces and then to return back to where we had started it's just chain one and one single crochet into each and please do that all the way across and that will conclude this section and we'll be right back for just a quick recap. I've just singled and crocheted myself all the way back and now this whole section is done. So we have a nice clean edge and let me just back you out here as we concluding today. And so we have a nice clean edge. We're actually supposed to repeat this a total of three times and if you look at a real sample, this is actually the real size of it. So you can see it's a lot bigger because it's three sections and then you would have gone back in the other direction. So I actually have that sample done too. Just like this. Neat, right? So we actually started this way and then we finished off going this way. So together it works about 22 inches as the distance. But as you can see that if you follow that and wanted to repeat this over and over, if you don't do the return uh, passes to finishing, you could have actually just had a nice uh, lazy wave just kind of moving up on your afghan like that. So that would have been pretty neat too. So we're gonna leave you here and then I'll see you on week number three as we begin our journey and we're gonna continue then as we're gonna grow this afghan bigger. So I'll see you next week. Have a good one. So that's it for week number two. This is a big week. I'm not even gonna deny it. It's one of those ones where you have to just take your time and just kind of like figure how things are working. And once you start seeing the repeats, hopefully that will make sense to you to be able to progress. So the neat thing about it is that though I showed you going up and then back in the other direction, if you really wanted to and you wanted to extend it to make it taller, you can actually literally go back again and then up again. So you just can keep adding to this particular idea if you really, really wanted to. So on behalf of my friends over at joanne.com as well, is here at the crochet crowd if you're using our social media platforms please use our hashtags of handmade with joanne as well as the crochet crowd and you know what we'll see you next week week number three as we continue our journey together with you we'll see you and have a great week